Okay, so Patrick and I were driving around and I got a call yesterday that my new chicken barn is ready and we have to schedule a delivery because it's really big. And so I thought we would sneak down to the lot since the lot is really close to our house that built it. And so I wanna show it to you guys. So we're here and I see it and I'm about to turn the camera and show you guys my new chicken barn, which is not on my property yet, but it's super cute and I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys it right now. So here's my new chicken barn that I built. This is a custom chicken barn. Um, it's basically a shed, but it is really a barn because I did the barn doors. And if you can see, this door is a lot bigger than this one. This is a standard three foot wide door. And then I have a custom four foot door on the front. I'll give you guys a tour really quickly, but it's like obviously still at the barn lot. Like it's not at home. Um, but you can see I got a really big window on the front. I wanted a big window and I wanted the big four foot door. So we put it on the side. So that'll be the front. And then this will be the side where the chicken runs so the chickens can come out this door. And I'm just, I love it so much. I'm gonna put a flower box on here. And then you guys can see the inside. It's huge, it's so beautiful. I love this so much. And then I did a secondary window. So there's also a big window on the back here. Okay, so this is me standing in the chicken barn. So it's really big. I'm so glad it's so big. I'm so happy. It looks so good. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So this is my first reaction to it. I really love it. And so if you turn, stand right there and turn, you can see the second door. This is the secondary door. This is just a standard three foot door that all sheds come with. Um, and then that's the custom door that you're looking at me. And I wanted an extra, extra wide door so that I can get in trees. Like I'm gonna put in some long trees in here, limbs and things for them to perch on. Um, and roost and then I'm also going to put in their nesting boxes and that's what this whole other side is going to be and then I'm also going to do trash cans in here for their bedding for their food so I wanted a lot of room so that's why I got this thing it's an 8 by 10 so it's like a really really big barn and I'm really excited um, I think it looks so good and it locks so I'll have keys to lock it it's got a good locking handle so they'll be secure at night and I'm just really, really excited. But yeah, that's my first impressions of my new chicken barn. Do you wanna go stand by it so they can see how big it is? Um, it's eight by 10 and then it's probably like 15 or 16 feet tall. It's really tall, um, but yeah, it's a big barn. It looks so good. All right guys, so here is my chicken barn. So if you can see, it is off to the side in my side yard in the back of the house. And then there is my horse barn and my pond. So you guys can kind of see where I decided to put it in proportion to the horse barn. It's obviously in front, but way to the left so that it doesn't block, you know, the horse barn and all of the rest of the property. So I have it over here, but of course, because we kind of put it on the slope a little bit, there is enough room for the chickens to get underneath it. I did this on purpose. I could have picked a flatter spot, but I wanted there to be some room underneath the barn as you can see here it's level so that means that there's going to be an opening for the chickens to get under there we have a lot of really large predator birds that fly through here so that'll be good the first thing that you will see here is the window the big four foot door which you probably saw in the clip that i just showed you guys of it at the lot and then if you go to this side you will see the standard size door this is a standard size door that would come on a chicken coop or a shed or a barn or whatever. And then of course that's the big custom door for the entrance, which I absolutely love. And I have a block here that I use to step up in there. Um, and that's basically just because we actually wanted to put a really big deck here. I actually want to put a deck that comes out to right here because this is a wide swing door because it's four foot. So we're going to put a deck out to about right here and then steps going up the deck. And then there'd be a platform and then that way I can swing this door wide and go in. And I think that'll be great. But let me tell you guys something. The reason that is taking us quite a while, honestly, it's going to take a minute, is because lumber prices, if you have been paying attention, <laughs> inflation is here, people. And lumber is up 400%, not like 50%, but 400 and basically a two by four or a deck board even. A two by four to do any work on this would have normally been like $2 and something, maybe like $2.34 on average. Now is almost $8 for one piece of wood. So to say that this is gonna be put on hold is an understatement. Um, of course, if the lumber prices come back down, 
we will be doing that immediately and I will be working on this ASAP. But for now, um, we just have the barn sitting here and I haven't built the deck. We also are doing a roof line here that goes down is the plan. It's gonna be like a metal roof with all of this to be uh, framed in with two by fours with a door out here so that the chickens can have a really big run. And I'm probably gonna take it around the back as well. There's a ton of yard here as you can see. And so my idea is where the horse fence line is right there. I wanna fence in this entire square all the way around. But again, it's so expensive to do that right now. This has been put on hold. So right now we just have the barn here, but I am gonna show you guys inside of the barn. Wait, before that though, look how cute this little sign is. Isn't that so cute? I have it underneath the window. It just says chicken crossing. I got it TSC and I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. Obviously, I don't have my chickens yet, but whatever. This area over here, which is not there yet, but we are actually going to be putting the nesting boxes in each of these squares. So we're basically going to bring these out and then put like square boxes and then have the hay or bedding or whatever it is in there for them to lay. And we're going to do this whole wall of lay boxes right there. And the framing worked perfectly because they're like 12 inch holes and so I think that'll work really well and then they'll be deep of course so I'm really excited about that I think that's going to be a great spot for the lay boxes and then I don't have any plans um, other than to maybe do some roost or like some roosting spots I want to do some like natural branches and stuff probably the length of the barn which is 10 foot so that's really big um, but I'm probably going to do some corner ones as well up here just so the chickens can get up and then see out the window I think that'd be really nice and then this of course is the exit door for them to go out we got to put a ramp and stuff for them to get out and that's basically the plans for the inside i think it turned out amazing and i really really love this chicken barn all right so these are my trash cans um these are duck food catfish and pond pellets and then this is where i keep the big bags that are too big for the small trash cans and then there's also a uh, cracked corn in here so i'll show you in here real quick this is a big trash can this is where I keep my scoopers for my pellets and then of course the big bag which I'll show you guys so this is the duck food that I use it is the Demore um, all flock pellet and you can see it says it's got 100% nutrition I don't really actually know anything about like I know this is a pretty good brand, at least that's what I was told. And then this is just a all flocks. So it is for ducks, chickens, and turkey. So my ducks absolutely love this. They really do love it. And so this is what I feed the ducks. <coughs> Achoo! Okay. <laughs> and this is my favorite uh, pond pellet, which I get at TSC. It is the floating pond and catfish food. You can see it's got uh, a big catfish on the front of it. I really, really like this. I guess it's by Sportsman's Choice, but um, I get it at TSC. It's a really big bag and it usually, it's a 40 pound bag, so it's pretty big. And it usually, um, it's lasted me probably six weeks now. I've been doing it maybe, give or take. So this big bag, I'm still not out of it. I probably still have about this much in the bucket. Um, that bucket's still about a third of the way full. So yeah, this one bag has probably lasted me, um, I don't know, a little over a month but I do a really big scooper. So I'll show you guys how much I do a day. So here are the catfish pellets. And I'd usually do about three quarters of a scoop. So yeah, right there. I do about three quarters of the way full and that's how much I feed my fish every day. And then here is the duck pellet. As you can see, I have an absolute ton of this because they don't eat a ton every day. I usually do one little Tupperware bowl full, and this is a shallow bowl. You can see it's like really small. So I do about one scoop full for the ducks every day. And I usually feed them in the afternoon, but today we're feeding them early. It's like 11 a.m. right now because it's definitely gonna storm today. And I think by three, it's gonna be pouring. So we are gonna go feed right now. Here they come. Hi, baby.
want some? Yeah, get them. My beautiful ducks. All the fish. Goodness. There's one of my catfish. Oh my gosh, look how big he's got. I just saw one of my catfish. We put four in here. So that was one. He was big, where did he go? There he is. He looks like a shark. Look at him schooling. Wow. Saw one. These pellets are for pond and catfish, so my catfish was definitely hitting it. That was one, though. If there's any more. So I can see him again. He's a lot bigger than these brim, that is for sure. You can see him good. There he is. Looks like a shark back there. There he is. Look at him. He just came up. Oh man, he's beautiful. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me feed the ducks and the fish. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video and I'll keep you guys updated on the chicken barn and the changes with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.